Hello everyone, how are you? It's K. So this is the 8th of June and Tuesday. So uh, today I would like to talk about how I screen the pairs because uh, it's been actually one of the most frequent asked questions like how I screen the charts, how I monitor charts and screen charts every day is usually the questions I got. So uh, I will talk about it today. So let me squeeze my face. Okay. And um, let me start with a quick disclaimer is that the uh, this information is uh, basically based on my own understanding and experience. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk management. And also if you can follow the guidelines and rules, that will be great when you're watching this video session. So today's video session, it's not a live stream, but I will talk about how I screen the pairs usually uh, in uh, during the day. So I live in Tokyo right now and I check charts three times a day. Three to five times a day I check charts. But it depends. When I'm busy with something else or when, I've, when I'm stressed or when I'm tired, then uh, most likely I won't check any charts on that day. But Or maybe once or twice I check. But usually um, I check charts and screen charts three times at least and these three timings are uh, in the morning time Japan time so I wake up usually between 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. depending on how late I sleep uh, on last night but uh, I check charts so after wake up in the morning between 7 to 9 a.m. I screen the charts and if there is a trend and if there's opportunities then I take it in the Asian session still but most likely there is no trend, there is uh, less volatility in the market in the Asian session, so most likely I won't take any trades. And then I come back to the chart after the lunch time, so um, usually between 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. in Japan time, I screen charts again, which is actually before the London session opens. So before London opens, the market can be volatile, and because uh, London traders coming into the markets and uh, it becomes more active. So before the London session opens, I check charts, screen charts, and if there is a potential trend or if there is a, if there is a, almost like a breakout, for example, on the daily chart, a daily resistance support breakout happens before London opens, I mark these pairs and watch closely for maybe one hour or two hours. But if there is no trend, then simply I come back to the charts before the New York opens, which is at around 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Japan time, I screen charts. And if there is no trends, if there is no opportunities, then simply I don't take any trades. And I don't take any trades before I go to bed because I want to set the break-even line before I go to bed, but if it's too close to the bedtime, then I won't take any trades. But bas so basically, I check three times: morning time, and afternoon, and evening time. In Japan time, I screen these three timings, and I do this every day. So um, let me open the charts. Uh, so here is uh, so watch, I watch these pairs. These are actually euro and USD and AUD pound and JPY and CAD and Swiss RAM pairs. So I screen like a 20, 21 pairs, but it doesn't mean that I take trades every day on these pairs. It's impossible. So I have these pairs on my watch list and whichever is trending, I take trades. So this is like the, uh, the list of the Forex pairs and also I look at the gold too. Here is a gold and I screen the gold three times a day also. And also I look at the silver too. I look at the silver, gold and also crude oil. WTI, I also look at this one too. But mainly I trade forex pairs. So originally I used to take only USDJPY pair because uh, I used to live in Los Angeles and I was born and grew up in Japan so I know both economies 
and also um, I, I'm familiar with these two different countries. And that's why I originally decided to take USDJPY and then I've added Euro and Pound and AUD and CAD and then Swiss Fran. So these are the pairs on my watch list that we have that I have now. And I don't take trades other exotic pairs or minor pairs. For example, I don't take trades on the New Zealand pairs because New Zealand pairs usually has wider spread and also uh, it becomes spiky in lower time frames. And that's why simply I don't I don't screen the New Zealand pairs. Uh, and also it doesn't really go well with my strategy. And that's why I don't really take trades on that one. And also Swiss Fran pairs too. The Swiss Fran pairs are also volatile in lower time frames with a higher spread. So Swiss Fran pairs are also like a less priority, low priority for me. So I tend to focus on these major and minor pairs and these are the pairs on my watch list. So let me practically do, uh, let me practically share with you how I screen these charts. So I usually go from top, Euro, USD. So I lay out the, the first one, two, three, four, five, six pairs are the basis, basis Euro. And, and then I have USD base, and then pound base currency pairs, and then AUD pairs, AUD base currency pairs, and then CAD uh, base pairs, and also Swiss Fran base pair. So this is how I lay out these pairs. So I screen the charts, first of all, by looking at the daily chart. Every day I see, I check daily chart. So I look at the daily chart, and starting from Euro USD, and I draw the lines. So here is a line at this uh, resistance line on daily chart at 1.22659 level. So I draw the line, and also here we can have the trend line. So I would also draw the trend line on the daily chart too, like this. And I just monitor charts in this day, and now. This is bullish still. Overall, this is bullish after this uh, ten, uh, after this Kijun Sen bounce. It's bullish, so I expect the market still goes up this way. But now it's retracing backwards and ranging because the Kumo is flat. Senko Span A is retracing backwards, while Kijun Sen is flat, and Chikou Span too close. And I see that the the buying bullish energy, bullish power is a bit weak in this particular pair on the daily chart. So if I see the market like this way, I expect the market goes up in the long term, but today looks like there is no opportunity as per daily chart, so I simply skip it and move on to the next pair, Euro AUD. And this one also ranging flat, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, the price has been retracing backwards now and there is no there is no stable trend in this pair, so I will look at it. And Euro Pound is also flat, Euro JP is flat, so I screen by the daily chart like this, first, first of all. And Euro CAD is also flat ranging, Euro Swiss Fran flat, now it's broken downwards, the support line is broken downwards, so this is this could be a new downtrend. So if I see this interesting setup, then I mark this one, I flag red, and move on to other pairs. I won't look for the entry chance just because I see the trending pair. I just mark this one and also keep screening other pairs to see if other markets are still trending or ranging. So, um, dollar JPY is flat. Um, dollar Swiss Fran is more bearish. The price is below the Kumo Kijun Sen and these recent three days has been bearish, so it could break downwards this way. It looks like the Swiss Fran is quite strong today, and that's why these uh, Swiss Fran pairs are basically trending. And the Dada Swiss Fran too, it's been downtrending, so I will just mark this one just in case. And the Dada CAD is uh, flat ranging, there is no trend. The candlesticks are so close, so tiny and small. So. 
in the, so I put this arrow because uh, this is downtrending in the, in the long term, but um, this is still in a sideways. It could go up also. It could go up to Kijun Sen in this case because it's been just ranging ups and downs. So simply I pass this one and move on to the pound dollar. This is potential uptrending because uh, Kumo's up. I can say that the Kumo Sen Kospan A is up and Kijun Sen is up. Price above. That Kijun Sen Kumo and Chikou Span is getting closer and closer to the candles, but technically this is above the Kumo, above the candles here. So I keep this one too. I will come back to this chart again, but I won't go into details for the first screening like this. I just pick one, pick which one is the potential trend, which one is ranging, and I will come back to these pairs again soon. So moving on to pound JPY is also potential bullish. There is a reversal. There is a reversal line here. Previous resistance has been broken on the 27th of May and now it's retracing backwards. So it could bounce and it goes up this way too. And you can also see that the Kumo is bullish and Kijun Sen is up. Chikou span above the candles and this is bullish. So. I will monitor this one too today. And moving on to pound AUD, this is flat retracing. Um, it's been bullish, but uh, the most recent candles has been engulfing, and uh, so I will wait for this uh, previous doji engulfing upwards, which is 1.83058 level. So um, I will simply wait for that, but now it's bearish. Today's candle is bearish now, so most likely I will look at this one. And it looks a pound cat is flat now, it's ranging. Pound series one ranging too. Um, AUD US is ranging. Uh, the price is in the Kumo now, so there is no trend. AUD CL is also ranging too. It retracing backwards. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat now, and it's been. Uh, this has been Y wave, I say. Uh, this is in the Y wave. The lows are expanding. I mean, the lows are lower and highs are lower too, but this is kind of Y wave. Uh, expanding Y wave. So when I see Y wave structure like this, simply I avoid taking trace. Because um, it could break but it might be fake out and retrace backwards or it might go down from here and I'm not sure which way it's going so simply I stay away on this particular pair and then AUDJPY is flat ranging too this is the P wave ranging no trend AUDCHF is also this is ranging too for the last couple of days so I don't look at this one CADJPY is nicely uptrending today's bullish day Today is candlestick bullish, so this is bullish day. And price above the, this um, Kijun Sen Kumo, Chikou Span above the candles. So this might be bounced by this trend line. So, and it can form P wave structure. It can form P wave and break upwards this way. So it might happen today, or yeah, sorry, today this. I don't think it's gonna happen today, but in the short term to midterm, long term, this is bullish. So I will monitor this one just in case today. We might see the uptrend in lower time frames or forward chart. In that case, I will come back to this one and look for an opportunity. So yeah, overall it's bullish, so I will keep this one too. And now the next one is um, CAD CIS run, it's flat. And the Sysfran JPY, is, uh, this is bullish today, it's good. Uh, it broke the previous doji candlestick. So there was a, uh, yesterday was the doji candlestick and doji high and low are on these price levels. And it's breaking the previous doji's high at this 121.901 level, it's breaking upwards. So the market could go up. In this, in this direction, so I will just mark this one too. So 
As I screen these pairs, these 21 pairs, now I find um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 potential trending pairs based on the daily charts. Right, based on the daily charts. So, and I do the same in forward chart. I do the same in forward chart, so I will, I come back to the Euro USD and switch it to the forward chart and screen all the pairs. And I do this flat. This uh, let me do it quickly. Let me uh, show you how quick I do usually. So yeah, it's flat. This is down nicely. Euro Swiss franc. I will keep this one. Dollar JPY flat. Uh, Swiss franc. Sorry, dollar Swiss franc is down trending too nicely. But the the uh, the, uh, the Kijun Sen is up above the Kumo and uh, Chikou Span is still too close. So this downtrend could retrace backwards soon. But I will just, just in case, keep this one, the uh, USC CHF, and move it on to uh, USC CAD is flat, pound USC is flat, pound JPY is almost breaking the support, or it could be bounced by the support and goes up this way as we saw on the daily chart. So I will keep this one too. Pound AG flat, pound CAD is flat, pound Swiss franc is it's downtrending, it broke the support line in forward chart, so it might be a new downtrend. The Kumo is way too, too small, and Kijun Sen is still in the Kumo now, and Chikou Span is still too close, but um, it could go down today. So I will mark this one as orange, because I see the potential downtrend in forward chart. So I put orange color when I see the forward chart trend. And then AUD USD is uh, it's ranging. AUD CL is also ranging, retracing. Yeah, this is in the Kumo now also. AUD CTF, this is also ranging, retracing heavily. And there is no trend. And CAD JPY is uh, this is in the Kumo now in forward chart, so there is no trend. And CAD CTF is nicely downtrending, but the Kumo is not twisted yet, so I think Kumo twist and Kijun Sen breakout of the Kumo will take long, take longer. It could happen tomorrow because this is in a forward chart, so I won't look at this one today. And the Swiss franc JPY is also ranging flat. So I screen these pairs, all the 21 pairs, and now I find the only Pound Swiss franc has potential downtrend based on the forward chart. And after I do this on the daily chart and the forward charts, then I start to look at the lower time frames, 1 hour chart, 30 minute chart, and if I can confirm the trend, and then I look for an entry edge by 5 or 15 minute time frames. And, and plus, important, I have to talk about two more important things that I watch usually. One is, of course, the news. So every day, three times a day, I check, I just in case go to this uh, website. This is the uh, fxstreet.com and this is my favorite website to screen the news. Um, it actually refreshes by itself and you know the progress, which one's done, which one's not yet done. So uh, I can say that the, uh, there are a couple of news on the US and Canada uh, is coming up, but uh, these are the minor news, so it might not gonna affect the market so much. But if there's a big news, um, I make sure to not to take trades right before the news. So um, just in case I check the news, what's coming up next, and make sure that there is no big news before I take trades, and also. I check the currency exchange chart. This is the second uh, website that I oftentimes uh, check before I take any trace or when I screen also I I refer to this uh, strings chart. So um, you can find the below description the link on this website so you can access to it. But uh, on this one this is uh, so at a glance I know that the uh, Swiss run is strong today and the pound is weak today pound is a green one 
and this friend is a brown. So I see these pairs are the most volatile at the moment. And I see these minor movements on the USDs uh, getting weaker now. And the CAD is also weaker. And uh, New Zealand, I don't take New Zealand, but New Zealand is now up. And JPY is up. And Euro and uh, Euro and AUD are sideways now. So I also, this one, I check this one and see which one, which currency is active, which, which currency is not active. I check these by this strength chart and then come back to these charts and see which one is likely to be trending stably or not might retrace so uh and it looks like today the the good thing is uh the good pair to look at is the euro swiss run i see daily chart is breaking the support as well as the P wave is breaking down. Kumo down, Kijun Sen down nicely. Chikou span below the candles in the daily chart. And also in one hour chart. Let's see. In one hour chart, I also see this is continuously downtrending. Oh, so this is recorded. Hold on, let me, let me put the uh, current UTC time zone. So that you know when I'm recording at the moment so um, yeah daily chart is showing down and one is showing down too so this one is at the moment very good timing to look for the sell chance in lower time frames so now in UTC time zone this is um, 1229 noon time in UTC on the 8th of June on Tuesday and now it's going down and uh, just in case I check the 30 minute chart too and 30 is down too so this is nicely down trending so I will look for an entry chance to sell in lower time frames so I check 15 minute chart I use Bollinger Bands Stochastics and now Bollinger Bands contracting Stochastics has been gold uh, debt crossing so far and price has been going down on this reverse in waves so this is nice downtrend so I wait for the support line breakout on the 15 that will be one of the good signs to take sell and also I look at the 5 minute chart in 5 um, Bollinger Band has been expanding and price is band walking but uh, this scare 6 the lines are too close so I don't use stochastics in this case and I see Fibonacci bounce here let me show the Fibonacci bounce so um, yeah this is the uh, in terms of Fibonacci bounce this is 38.2% bounce on this reverse in the wave so I take that as also confirmation and then there is a um, I think in this case there are multiple confirmations so hold on, let me move back the chart. Okay, so um, yeah, so there, so this is nicely trending down on this reverse in the wave, and it looks like it's breaking down. So most likely after I finish this recording, if I still see the chance, then I will take a trade to sell on this one. And when I'm looking for the sell chance on one pair, I don't pay attention to other pairs. But in this case, this is kind of special case, but I mentioned before that the Swiss franc pairs are lower priority of mine because it's volatile in lower time frames. So now it's breaking downwards and you see this beautiful reverse in the wave, but it could retrace backwards soon because this is Swiss franc pair. So um, in that sense, before I take a sell, I make sure to check other pairs, other trending pairs in higher time frames and see if I, ha I have any edges. If not, then I will take this one. And then hopefully the market goes towards my direction and I set the break even line. And after I set the break even line, simply I stay away for maybe two hours or three hours, sometimes four hours. And basically, I don't really care. I don't really 
come back to the charts once I set the break even line because I don't lose when I set that. So then that's basically my routine of um, what I do for these tradings. So hopefully you learn something new from this video too. And the, the important thing is about time efficiency. We have to be very time efficient. So like I mentioned before, uh, and like I usually mention on this uh, live stream of videos, um, in Forex, you don't get paid according to how many long, how long you check charts, how long you monitor the charts, or how many trades you take. It's not really related. But you can only make profit when the market is going towards your direction. Otherwise, you don't make any profits. And that's why you have to be very exact on which one to take trades, which timing to take trades, and how you take trades are very important. And that's basically what I do every time I screen these charts and pairs. Okay, so yeah, that's it for today's video session. Once again, thank you for joining and uh, thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press a good button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these video sessions or live streams every day on my YouTube channel. So thank you for thank you for your support. Uh, now the number of subscribers became over 30k. So I'm preparing to do the special long live stream before I move to Dubai on the 29th of June. So uh, you will get the announcement soon about that too. Oh, and one last quick announcement is that the uh, so I do I teach my original and own strategy and this global trading school and the next session starts in July and there is only one seat available. So if you're still interested, please let me know. Contact me through the contact form below and also you can also find details from on the website on the also link below the description. So if you are still interested, there is only one seat available. So please let me know and I can give you more details about it. So once again, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you have a great, great day today. And uh, I hope everybody, yourself and family, friends, everybody uh, wishing safe and healthy. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy once again and stay gold. All right. Bye for now. Matane. I say matane and that means see you in Japanese. So matane everyone. Thank you.